welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Now today I have got all my face on. We are going to do a review of the Petite Pro 3 little Viseart Visart palette. I have had this a while. I have been testing it. No, testing it out. I have um, done maybe three, four different looks with this little palette. And I want to give you my opinions on it, as well as do a little bit of an eye look. So let's get going. There is one thing I do like about it. It has a little mirror. Um, it has the cover there and it does all fold up. And it's the tiniest palette I actually do own. Um, I just like them. I really do. Uh, I like the packaging and I like the feel of it. And it's just so handy. I mean, that, this could even be your brows with this colour here. It's not the one I use today, but you could. You could do your brows with this as well if you really wanted to. But, I will say, because I'm into more of a bright colours, these colours are nice. I just wanted to try a smaller part from Viseart, Visart, because I didn't want to do £68 for a big palette, even the Brights palette, if the quality isn't good. Everyone says the quality is good, but I wanted to try it myself. Now, I've been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying. I don't know if you can tell, but there is some dips and dints in there. Um, and what I tend to do is come up with a green look. Obviously, this is why I got this palette is because it had the green in it. But I come up with the green looks, which I do quite like. Very subtle, but I do like it. I use the browns and then I use the steeler glitters, which is sat here, just to give it that pop. And I do, I don't use this one. The one in here I haven't used is that bronze there. But I do use these colours and you get a very nice pinky, purpley, pinky look. But what I'll do now is I will swatch them and then we'll choose which ones. I don't know which ones. I might do a neutral eye because I have got my neutral face on. So, I can't tell you the names of them. Because there's no names. And you can dig them out. Uh, where's my knife? Because I'm sure... Yeah, it's a magnetic palette. So you can take them out. Which then has made me thought, well, maybe I could take them out. If I... I like these, but I need a pop of colour. This is my problem with it. I like these. I need a pop of colour. Um, there's no red, there's no orange, and there's no black. But then this is quite nice. I'll show you in the swatches in a moo. But um, I, I, can I, I like, let's just swatch them and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll go for the, along this edge here, that one, that one, that one, and the nice pink. And I hope you'll be able to see this. I've just washed my hands, make sure, there we are. So the dark green, the dark brown, so they're good quality. The transition colour and the pink. <laughs> Do the pink again. <laughs> it, it is there, the pink. There you are, look. <laughs> Quickly wiping my fingers, wapey wapey. And then you have the shimmery side. So there's the matte side and this is the shimmery side. And I keep, sorry if I'm blinding you with that. There we go. And then we have the shimmery side, which is the lovely green. The bronze I haven't used, the purple, and the very light pink. And they are nice. Eh, there we are. And they are very nice. Oh, well, look. That bronze shade is nice. It's just not my colours. And they have the colours of the palette. You wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. So they are nice and they do show up and um, they are nice quality. 
The problem I have is I do the same old looks with it, put it down and think, mm, and do the same old looks with it. So let's just get into it. First things first, we were going to prime the eye, prime the eyes with a splattery two-faced shadow insurance. What's up with my lights? I think it's because it's dark outside. It keeps washing everything out. But we'll just put every this on here very quickly. There we go. And what we'll do is what I normally do is get a nice fluffy brush and go into this pink shade here. Might as well use the little palette. Pink shade there. Can't tell you the name of it. And I just tend to just pop that on. One, it lightens the lid up, which is what I do like. And I wanted to do this because I wanted to see do I go for some of their, I don't want the big shimmery palette, um, either some more little ones like this, which I suppose would help me because what I could do is pop out the shades I don't use, pop in the shades I do like, but then I end up with a palette I will never ever use. And I've done that many a times. I've bought two balm palettes, um, popped out the shades I like of both and made, what well, not both, but Popped out the shades I didn't like in one palette and popped out the shades I did like in the other and made a palette I love and then got rid of the other one. In fact, the other one destroyed. I was going to post it to a friend and it got destroyed on the way down to the post office. But um, I tend to do that. I've got two uh, Violet Voss ones. I've got the Laura Lee one. Oh, years ago I got that, obviously. Um, and then I, I've also got the Nicole Concilio one. And I've popped out the shades I like of the Laura Lee one. Popped out the shades of the ones I don't like of the Nicole Concilio one. So I've now got, got the Nicole Concilio one with shades I love. The other one is browns and coppery shades and golds that I don't use very often. And it's just sat there. <sighs> this is my problem. It's having companies do shades I like. But of course they've got to be universal. I can't be greedy and say, well, I want my, I want one with my shades. But anyway, there we go. There's a nice light shade. And with the same brush, no, I won't. I'll get a tick, more of a tickly brush. There we are. Did I nearly knock you over? Oh, oh dear. Um, I'll get a little blending brush from Tarte here. Which ones should we go for? I mean, we haven't got many. <laughs> we'll go for this lighter brown here. That's what I tend to do it is quite powdery but they are pigmented and we just pop that into the crease and as you can see I hope you can see let me get a bit closer there we are as you can see this is a very good blendable shadow but there's it it does blend in, it blends right in. <laughs> there we go, you see. We're going neutral. And I like the colour, but never mind. We are going to go now into the green, the dark green. This is one of my favourite shades in here. Um, and we're just going to pop that in the outer corner. But as you can see, it's not as dark green as I would have hoped. It is good. It does get there. Maybe I should use more of a squidgly brush. Squidgly. There we go. More of a squidgy brush. Let's do that one. Um, but as you can see, there we go. It, again, you have to build the colour up. Now, I would have thought with Vis Visiar, Visar, you wouldn't have had to build the colour up. You could have just put it in there and done. But no, you have to build the colour up very neutral and I'm not sure if that's what I want for my $24.99 for this palette it is handy you can get a look from it it's not falling out ain't oh good I'm gonna say I haven't seen fallout from this palette but um you see you've got to build it keep dipping in and building this up which is all right if you've got the time to do that in the morning I don't. I've got to do my full face and get out of the door 
by in half an hour unless I've got days like this where I can sit down and actually film but normally it's quick get ready half an hour let's go but there you go and we'll blend that in which one is that yeah that's the right one. Oh dear 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 so as you can see we're building it slightly got to go back in again and this is what annoys me with this palette you have to keep going back in go back in back in so my review if you may have gathered is as long as you've got the time to keep going back in you will build your colors up unless you want something more neutral and smooth you just want a little wash of brown and a little wash and a bit of a pop of um, glitter it would it would work I need it to be there straight away and this palette is not pigment pigmented enough for me but hey let's carry on and we need a synthetic flat bro where are you there we are synthetic flat big one little one. gosh <laughs> um this is the primat synthetic flat brush and i'm going to go in with the green we're going to do greens and you cake the green up like that tip your tap and in you go this mirror is a bit awkward but in you go and as you can see it is pretty but for vizier and the way they're hyped up i would have expected expected it to be more than that <laughs> on the other side we are going to use a spray and i'll show you what you get apart from a tiddly bit of right so we've wet the brush and on the other side i shall show you what you get if you have a wet brush I like dipping back in once you've sprayed a brush, but you have to. Just blend that in there. Oh, it is a little more intense with a wet brush. And I suppose you could do that if you uh, had time in the morning because it's, it's not hard to just pop that spray on the brush is it it's just uh, do i want to do it no <laughs> not when i'm rushing and getting ready in the morning but there we go you see it is a pretty look you've seen this look on um instagram if you follow me there because that is what i've been doing now um and i've used it many times i am now going to go in with this purpley shade just to show you, I don't know if I'll just ruin the whole look. I am not wetting this one. And we're just going to do a bit more of a colourful creasy colour. And just blend those just in the crease there. You can hardly see it. I will do a swatch of this colour in a minute with the brush. And then we'll go back in with the blending brush and the squidgy brush with the dark green and just intensify this corner because it's got lost a little bit in there and bring it down as you know me i like my little outer v to be that little bit darker something like that see the green's nice it does intensify and you can get a little bit more pigment if you just douse it in with more of a compact brush. Um, can I be bothered to be faffing around like this in the morning? Like I said, no. <laughs> there we are, look. Something like that. And then we're going to use, we're just going to drag this up a little bit. Blend it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we've got that sort of look there, which is quite nice. Um, have I got it straight? No, I, know, I normally don't. 
get a bit higher. There, faffed about with it, that'll do. <laughs> But as you can see, um, on the looks I have done in the past, it's more subtle. If you like this more subtle, that's what I was going to do, wasn't it? I was going to show you... Where's my purple brush? This purple does go on. Quite nice. You could do an all-over lid and a bit of liner. All-over lid with that colour. Bit of liner. Sorted. Done. You know, you could do that. But... Um, to make a look it's annoying but anyway off we go again we'll use a little brush where are we where are you there you are <laughs> we'll use a little brush in this light shade here pink shimmer and we shall just pop that in the inner corner and along the lash line just to lighten that eye up a little bit Roll the brush in and don't get in your shot in the inner heart cor inner corner and along this lash line like so and yeah it's pretty it's not intense I like mind you keep dabbing it in there it will and voila that green's disappeared. This this is what I was finding. I'd go out and go, oh, what do you think to my green look? What green? I can just see the dark. And this is what I was finding. Um, this green disappears. And this is after wetting it. Oh, it's on that side a little bit better, isn't it? But as you can tell, I am hesitant in buying another busy art palette because this one is not um as intense as i was hoping now you're probably looking at it and thinking well i quite like that look it's very subdued it's not ott it's not like your other ones gone out of fashion <laughs> and you're probably thinking well it looks pretty it's just a nice i suppose it is but i want my shimmers to shimmer but there we go you see the, the look isn't bad um apart from my eyes leaking down there the look is not bad um <laughs> oh, i don't know i'm unsure what do you think this look is nice the green is intense if you pack it on the purple you could do an all over color with any of these colors just all over purple all over brown and a little bit of mascara you could do many different looks i will keep testing it out but since i bought it in september i keep dragging it out i do this look a lot because it's got a bit more color in it i have used these two browns just all over the lid do the inner corner mascara and i've shot out to work i do like it i like this as a setting shade but yeah let's put some mascara on i don't know um my personal opinion if you like more subtle shades it's really good if you like it for traveling it's really good i want some more color in it obviously but then uh, i picked these shades because it's got the greens and the browns and the glitters you can take it with the glitters so it's not a palette i hate but it's not a palette that i would rush out and buy the others unless i was going to swap them but then i've wasted 24.99 on the shades i'm not going to use and then i've got it'd be like a 50 pound palette for eight shades oh but um will i go for the um the others i don't know will i go for the other vise arts and just try them i don't know i really don't know eee, what do you think i have so many palettes too but i do like this look right let's get some mascara on put the little cover on what did he and this is why I haven't done a review on it or shown you. Uh, I definitely couldn't do three looks. I suppose I could do three looks, one palette with that one because this would be one and then all over purples with the pink, etc. But don't know. We'll grab a mascara. Which one should we grab? The body shop. Why not? 
grab, grab the body shop uh, lash hero dual ended and we'll pop some mascara on which might just finish off the look and there you go I really do like this mascara it's running out I must have had this oh six seven maybe more months and uh, I love that mascara I don't know if you can see the lashes but I do like it so yeah I do like this look I would be okay going out with this look no problem it's not the color I'm used to right up into the uh, crease but then I suppose you need a more natural look as well um I don't know what's your thoughts it, have you tried that's it have you tried any have you tried any of the Viseart Visart palettes what do you think to it um have you got any of the other petite petite petite, 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 petite pro two or three i've got three two or one have you tried any of them or the other ones um the pigmentation's there the shimmers are rubbish um i don't know they just seem to disappear on me but um the mats are nice uh so there you go that is my thoughts and my opinions on the Viseart palette I have tried, my first Viseart palette. Um, please comment below whether you think I should get some more, have you any recommendations, have you tried them, have you had any problems with them? Do you like them or not like them uh, or just haven't tried them? Uh, they're expensive. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I shall see you, my lovelies, next time. Bye for now.